Hey guys, welcome to Roku Ninja. My name's Mike, and in this video, we're going to be building our first Roku channel with Roku Ninja. If you're wanting to build a private or public channel, this video will explain how to do that. Let's get started. First, you will need a Roku Ninja account. For more information, visit our plans and pricing page on our website, roku.ninja. Okay, first things first, I'm going to log into my Roku Ninja account and it's going to prompt me to make my first channel. In the first step, we are asked to select a theme. We have a few themes for you to choose from as a starting point. You can always change these theme settings after this step. Next, we will input the channel name and subtitle. I'm going to create my Ultimate Drum Lessons channel. Then I'm going to add a splash screen I made for the channel. The sizes and templates for all the graphics needed for your Roku channel are available on our website. Let's go ahead and save those changes. Next, I need to add a category for my content. I'll call my first category the basics and give it a description. Let's save the category. Now I'm going to add some videos to my category so that my channel isn't empty. You can bring in your videos from Amazon S3, YouTube, or your favorite FTP account. I have a couple YouTube videos I want to bring in. In a single step, I'm adding three video URLs, comma separated from YouTube. I'm going to click save and now they're added. Now that I have content in my channel, I want to see how it looks. I'm going to prepare the channel for submitting to Roku by clicking the Create Package button. This can sometimes take a minute. Once the channel is packaged, I am prompted to download the package. Next, I'm going to log into my Roku developer account. If you don't have one, they're free and you can register at developer.roku.com. Once I'm logged in, I'm going to navigate to the developer site and click Manage Channels. As you can see, we have two options, a public channel and a private channel. Public channels are when you're ready to publish your content to the Roku Channel Store. The Roku team will review and approve your channel. I'm not ready to publish my channel for everyone to see, so I'm going to add my channel as a private channel. Next, select the stores you want your channel to be accessible in, which language, and any features. I'm going to leave these as default. Next, I'm going to add a vanity access code, which will be used to add my private channel to my Roku box later. Next, I need to add the channel name and description. This information will be used in the channel store. I will also add some keywords and a web description. Now I need to add the HD and SD poster images. These images will show on the channel store and in the grid of channels on my Roku box. Select the category you want your channel in. I'm going to pick education and save. Next we are asked to upload some screenshots. For this tutorial I'm going to skip this step. Screenshots aren't required for private channels, but they are important for your public channel. I'm going to click back to skip this step. Now we need to upload the package file. Select the minimum firmware, I'm going to leave mine as default, and browse for the package file you downloaded from Roku Ninja. I'm going to save, and the changes of our package have been successfully uploaded. Notice the access code and that our status is still unpublished. We need to do a final once over and submit the channel. Before I do that, I'm going to copy the access code. Now I'm going to submit the channel. Now that the channel has been published, I'm going to add it to my Roku box by taking the access code I copied and paste it in the Add Channel box. This will add the channel to my Roku box within the next 24 hours, or if I want to refresh my channels, 
I can visit the Settings System Updates tab on my Roku box. Thanks guys for watching this. I hope it was helpful. Please provide us with feedback in the comments below and be sure to rate and subscribe for more in the future.